What is stopping you from joining a new guild? There can be a plethora of reasons on why you, my friend, do not want to join a new guild. It could be because you have social anxiety and you don't want to make new friends and you hate people and you're not a people person and you're an introvert and you're an only child. That could be the reason. It could be because your current guild base has an antiquarium and you do not want to lose that antiquarium, which is perfectly fine. Or it could be the reason why I didn't want to join a new guild. And that's because I'd have to pay notes in order to spawn the guild base and if I was an officer. And I was not about to deal with that shit. So what if Deep Woken added a guild setting that would not only change who could spawn the guild base, but also change who could expand slash remove the base of rooms? Basically, how it would work is that the leader would have access to the guild settings and the little button where you know you could like remove people from your guild. It would have an extra option where you could have your access to your guild settings, which would allow who could not only spawn the guild base, but change the rooms for the guild base. Because right now, only the leader can change banners, buy new rooms, only the, only select new rooms, and only people above guild officers can actually spawn the guild base. Which could be a hassle in case your leader is out of town and they add, like, let's say, the banker into the game. Now you have to wait until your leader comes back so you can actually have the room in your guild base. Or you just don't want to play the notes for the voucher so you can spawn the guild base. If they had this change, if they had a guild saying they would be able to give access to officers to expand rooms and give access to normal guild players to spawn the guild base for free because why the fuck do I have to pay this shit like I'm paying taxes? Not only does it benefit us right now, it would also benefit us in the future in case they want to expand on what you can do with guild bases. Having a guild setting that you could, you know, change would be extremely beneficial and there's just no flaws behind it besides like maybe corruption, but nigga, they allow for scamming. So how how bad can corruption get? Let's, let's not bring up the fucking the black market scene, bro. Let's not, let's not, let's not bring that.